Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green circle along with this uh, brown uh, semicircle fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, O is the center of the quarter circle, P is the center of this brown uh, semicircle and uh, Q is the center of this uh, green circle. And moreover, uh, this A and B are the points of uh, tangency. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, green circle has been given to us as uh, pi centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, brown shaded semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We are going to label uh, the radius uh, of this uh, small green circle as lowercase uh, r and the radius uh, of this uh, brown semicircle as uh, uppercase r. And now our task is uh, to find the value of lowercase uh, r and uppercase r uh, as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where lowercase r uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, green circle. And since the area of this green circle has been given to us as pi, so we are going to fill in the blanks. So the area of this green circle is pi equal to pi times uh, r square. Let's divide both sides by pi. This pi and pi is gone. Therefore, uh, r square turns out to be equal to 1. I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, our radius lowercase r turns out to be equal to 1 centimeter. So therefore, the radius uh, of this uh, green circle turns out to be 1. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this is the radius of this uh, brown semicircle. So this is going to be uppercase R and likewise uh, this is going to be uppercase uh, R as well. And we know that this uh, OC is the radius of this uh, quarter circle. So therefore the radius uh, of this quarter circle is going to be R plus R that is going to make uh, 2 times uh, R. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this center Q with this uh, point of tangency A. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees. Since this is our radius uh, of this uh, green circle and this is our tangent line. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with this point of tangency B. And now let's recall this uh, crucial factor. The centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear. So therefore, uh, these uh, two centers O and Q and this point of tangency B lie on the very same line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this is the radius of this uh, green uh, circle. So this is going to be 1. Likewise this QB is the radius uh, of this very same green circle. So this is going to be 1 uh, as well. And furthermore we know that this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and we know the radius of the quarter circle is uh, 2 times uh, uppercase R. So therefore the radius of this quarter circle is going to be 2 times uh, R. And we know that this uh, QB is uh, 1. So therefore this remaining uh, length uh, OQ is going to be 2R minus 1. And finally I'm going to label uh, this uh, segment uh, OA as uh, lowercase uh, x. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OAQ. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is 2r minus 1. And our other two legs are 1 uh, and uh, x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 1 square equals to 2r minus 1 whole square. 
And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on the binomial on the right side of this uh, equation. So therefore this equation is going to become uh, x square plus uh, 1 equal to 4 r square minus uh, 4 r plus uh, 1. And now we can see this 1 and 1 they are gone uh, on both sides. So therefore our x square value turns out to be 4 r square minus uh, 4 times uh, r. I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. I have dropped this uh, perpendicular QD on this uh, side uh, OC. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, segment uh, OA is going to be equal to this length uh, DQ. If this is X, uh, then this uh, DQ length is going to be X uh, as well. And moreover, uh, this length uh, QA is going to be equal to DO. If this length is 1, then this length has got to be 1 as well. And now we can see that this uh, whole uh, radius uh, OP is uppercase R and this uh, segment uh, DO is 1. So therefore this segment uh, PD is going to be uppercase R minus 1. And finally I have connected uh, this center P with this center Q. And now let's recall uh, this crucial fact once again. The centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear. Therefore uh, these two centers P and Q and their point of tangency lie on the very same line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this is the radius of this uh, brown circle. So this is uppercase R and this is the radius of this uh, green uh, circle. So this is going to be 1. So therefore uh, this whole uh, length uh, PQ is going to be uppercase R uh, plus uh, 1. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, PDQ. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, right triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, R plus 1. And our other two legs are R minus 1 and uh, X. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got... Uh, r minus 1 whole square plus x square equal to r plus 1 whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on the left hand side uh, of this equation. So therefore this could be written as uppercase R square minus 2 times R plus 1 plus rather X square equals 2. And now let's recall another identity A plus B whole square could be written as A square plus 2AB plus B square. We are going to apply it on this binomial on the right hand side. So therefore right hand side is going to become R square plus 2 times R plus uh, 1 and now we can see this r square and r square they are gone 1 and 1 are gone as well so therefore we are ended up with the negative 2 times r plus uh, x square equals to 2 times uh, r and now let's make an observation from equation 1 x square uh, value is 4 r square minus 4 times r so therefore I am going to substitute over here so x square is going to become 4 r square minus 4 times r as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, x square by 4 r square minus 4 r over here so let's combine the like terms on the left hand side. So we got uh, 4 r square minus uh, 6 uh, times r equals to 2 times uh, r. Now we are going to subtract uh, 2 r from both sides. This is gone on the right hand side. So therefore our left hand side becomes uh, 4 r square minus uh, 8 times uh, r equal to 0. And here I am going to divide each and every term by 4 
to make our job easier so therefore we got uh, r square minus uh, 2 times r equal to 0 and here we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation r square minus 2 r equal to 0 and now we can see r is in common on both uh, terms so I'm going to take uh, r as a common so we got r minus uh, 2 equal to 0 and now I'm going to separate these two factors so either r equal to 0 or r minus 2 equal to 0 for this equation r value turns out to be 2 and now we can see that this uh, uppercase r value cannot be equal to 0 so therefore this uh, r equal to 0 value has been rejected and we are going to accept uh, r equals to 2 value so therefore our radius uppercase r value turns out to be 2 centimeter and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, brown uh, semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where this uppercase r uh, is the radius of this uh, brown circle so therefore the area of the semicircle is going to be pi r square divided by 2 so therefore the area of this uh, brown semicircle is going to be pi divided by 2 times our radius uh, is 2. So this is going to become 2 whole uh, square. And now we can see 2 square is uh, 4 as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore this brown semicircle area turns out to be 2 times pi centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, brown semicircle turns out to be 2 pi centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.